question that I get asked the most often at the gallery is, where do you find all of these paintings? And I would say they come from a variety of sources, but most frequently we do appraisals for private individuals as well as institutions. Our gallery manager, Courtney, receives the bulk of the inquiries via phone and email with people wondering what their paintings might be worth. One interesting appraisal we were called to do back in 2007 was for a woman whose mother had recently moved into a nursing home. She had brought with her a small painting and the family wanted to make sure it was properly insured. It originally came from her great-grandmother and after selling the family house, they found it hanging in the maid's quarters. My father walked into the room and instantly recognized the artist and was really shocked. Uh, it was a painting by the very well-known early American Impressionist Child Hassam. Uh, this was a beautiful little snapshot of a Parisian street scene and he explained to the family that his works dated from the 1880s, like this one was, are very highly sought after by collectors. And the figure that he put on it was definitely not something that they were expecting. Uh, soon after that they decided to sell. We contacted the experts on the artist who knew of an unlocated painting of a similar subject that was sold by a Boston gallery in 1890. We think that's where the family initially acquired the piece. The Catalogue Raisonné was thrilled to finally see the painting in the flesh and officially include it in their records. A few years back, a school outside of Boston asked us to come and appraise a couple of paintings. Courtney and I actually walked into the library and were floored when we saw behind the circulation desk two massive paintings that were instantly recognizable as Aldro Hibbard. Hibbard was one of the most masterful painters of snow and we handled the artist's estate back in the 1970s as well as hundreds of his paintings before that time and since and we realized that we had just stumbled across two of the most important and massive examples we've ever seen. The first piece was a view of the grandeur of the Canadian Rockies where the artist and his wife honeymooned during the 1920s and the second piece was a sweeping view of the West River Valley in Vermont where the artist had a studio for many years. As it turns out, the paintings were gifts from the classes of 1927 and 1930 and had been hanging there all this time and no one had any idea of the value. We ascertained that the condition on both works was very good and we were happy to report that these gifts that the school were given so many years ago happened to be two of the most valuable Hibberts that we had ever come across.